In today's video, we're going to be covering how to keep the disk v2 connector from pulling blank files. And now you may want to do this for any number of reasons, but uh, one, one particular example I've seen customers run into is they'll be using the disk v2 as a listener. And if they have the pulling interval set, some, set to something short, it may end up pulling uh, files that are blank. And the reason being, they may not be blank files. It just may be pulling them while the create operation or create action is still being performed. So file name would be there, but the content would not be populated yet. And this will end up in your process throwing in an unexpected end of file error. And now you can use uh, error handling logic and other sub processes as well to handle this. Um, or if you'd like to keep it all simple in one process, you can instead use the disk v2 as a query operation and set a schedule running at the same pulling interval or however you'd like it to pull. Um, just coming in here, so I have this set up for my local uh, directory, just a test directory, and then we'll come into the operation here. We'll create a new one. Just make this video example. Uh, we'll leave it at the default so it pulls the maximum number of files. And then we'll hit import. What we're going to import here is a file filter. So we'll just leave it a file. And we'll choose no thanks. I'll set up my own filters. And I see down here, we now have filters. We can add an expression. We'll just make this is document empty. And then these four fields are automatically populated by the disk v2 listener. So we'll choose five file size and we'll set it to greater than. Save and close that. We'll come in here to parameters and we'll choose one parameter. We'll choose that same uh, expression, is document empty, set it to a static value of zero. And now what this will do is when files are pulled in and queried by this connector, as long as the, doc, or the file is greater than zero kilobytes, it will be pulled in and processed. And that's a simple way of handling this issue.